Well, it looks like Kenya Moore is back. Or did she ever really leave? That's really the question. Because, I mean, basically, I guess she never really left. But then she left. Well, then she just won't be there. We're going to get to see it all happen play out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That is the bottom line. It has been confirmed by Andy Cohen. So let's get into the tea. So this weekend is Bravo Fan Fest down in Miami. So this is kind of like maybe a smaller version of what we would consider a Bravo con, like less of a full-fledged version and more of a service to fans. I was actually supposed to be there, um, but I opted not to go. Uh, for a lot of reasons, but nothing to do with the network or anything like that. Just kind of some behind the scenes things that didn't work out. So with that being said, let's get into the tea. All right. First things first, shout out to our friends over at OMFG Reality TV and Bravo by Betches. Okay. So Andy Cohen said this at the Fan Fest. You will see Kenya on the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Andy confirms that her scandal is part of what happened on this season, and we will see it play out. So this goes a long way towards answering the question that I had been having. How was the season going to be introduced? We already knew that he had seen the first seven episodes. We already knew that he loved the first seven episodes. But what we did not know was, did those first seven episodes contain Kenya Moore? And it looks like it does. So I'm excited about that. Number one, I feel like Kenya Moore always brings it, but I do want to actually see how they play it out because there is always what happened and then there is the edited reality of what happened. So I'm curious to see. Obviously, we know we're not going to see any explicit photos or anything like that, but I still want to know how they narrate this and how they use the other ladies to also narrate it. OK, because what's going to be interesting is to see how it's narrated by Portia. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look. Atlanta underscore housewives happened to post this. Now, this was, quote, taken from deadline. OK, so it says early on in the season, we also saw photos of you and friend of me, Kenya Moore, circulating, indicating that you two were on good terms. Since she left the series midway through filming, are you two still in contact? She says, I'm still in contact with Kenya, and I'm still hopeful that she can work it out with the cast and with the network and find a way forward. I was really excited for the audience to see our growth because out of everything, it was super genuine. It was very much big sis, little sis energy that everybody would be able to relate to. I definitely hated that it didn't work out. But sometimes you have to pay for your mistakes and come around on the end. Now, this should be an interesting stance to see, because I would not be surprised if Kenya were back for season 17. OK, um, the just note, there are so much there's so much to read into with the big sis, little sis, because that was also a relationship that she's kind of had with Nini. And we saw how that sort of worked out, but that's sometimes the nature of big sister, big brother, little sister, little brother relationships. Family relationships don't always work. But what she also goes on to say, I hated that it didn't work out, but sometimes you have to pay for your mistakes. And we did see Kenya Moore on the Tamron Hall show owning what she did and taking things too far. And then she says at, on, at the end of this quote and come around on the end. Does that mean come, come around on back to the show at the end of the season, at the reunion, next season? How will this play out? Okay, that's what I want to know. Now, there was some other interesting tea. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show it because it's technically... DMs that were posted, but I'm assuming they were posted with. Uh, I know that they were posted with permission because, but if you go to So Bad It's Good with Ryan Bailey, um, someone has sent him a message because he has some boots on the ground. And they said at the Ask Andy now, and he confirmed that he's not sure if Housewives of London is going to air in the US or not. Okay, so we don't know that yet because it's done by Hayu. 
But he did confirm Kenya footage will be used at least partly during the next season of Atlanta. He said that the energy and the humor and connectivity with the new housewives and Portia and Phaedra are going to make the next season amazing, which is why it's taking so long to get out a new season, which is also going to be interesting because Phaedra really doesn't come in until what midway through the season or are they going to edit her in in a different type of way? Because I'm just interested to see how that's going to really play out, especially watching what happens on Mary to Medicine. That's going to be interesting. And I wonder if they're going to time that. I, I, so I got so many questions. I got so many questions about how the timing of this is all going to play out. But I am at least happy to know that we're going to see exactly, you know, we're going to see the start of Kenya Moore's journey and we're going to see where it sort of pauses maybe. And maybe that's just where she is. Maybe she is just on pause and things may shake out some type of way. Will she be at the reunion? Because if she's going to be on the season, there's a good opportunity that she could be at the reunion as well. And especially with what Portia said and come around on the end. Hmm. And then what will Kenya Moore make of, K of, of Portia's statements? That's what I'm also going to wonder too, because it is an acknowledgement that something was done wrong. Pay for your mistakes, okay? Um, and we do know that Portia is, is at least now friendly with Britt Eady because we've seen, you know, at least Britt posting, you know, and in support of Portia, you know, and that sort of thing. So could Portia be the bridge to the reconciliation between Kenya and Britt? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. All right, y'all. So. We got to talk real quick about Basketball Wives. This is very, very interesting. So this was a, this is a post. Now, I, I, I the post is basically Sarah Almadani from the Royal Housewives of Dubai. And she's posting about, you know, the type, being, uh, being a certain type of friend, right? What type of friend is 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 a good friend? The type of friend that's going to tell you what you don't want to hear or the type of friend that's going to, you know, kind of just ride your wave. I feel like you kind of need both friends sometimes. Like you need the friend that's going to tell you what you want to hear because sometimes you need that. You need also the friend that's going to tell you like it really truly is because you will more than oftentimes need that in the end. So I like to say you need both, right? Because you do. So Evelyn puts this, never been and never will be a yes friend. Real friends keep it honest, even when it's not what you want to hear. So the gag about this post is, shout out to Reality Chat, baby. Shout out to Reality Chat. Because after the post about friendship, Evelyn ends up in a war of words with two commenters who appear to be a friend of Jennifer and an aunt of Christian Gold. Christian Gold being Jennifer Williams' new husband, right? But we all know that there were some things that the ladies were concerned about on the show and the general public had been concerned about with regards to Christian's past, right? So um, uh, there's some things here. So one person, one commenter says, why don't you tag her? Stop with the subs. I'm assuming this may be Jennifer's friend. I can only go by the assumption. So someone else commented, said, because she's full of S-H-I-T, that's why. And I don't know if that's the aunt of Christian goals or not. Okay. I'm just assuming. Okay. Let me put the alleged badge up here. And also, I'm going to minimize this for a reason. All right. So then um, Evelyn says, just tell your fake nephew to pay his victims and that poor woman who is on disability, you see you next Tuesday. I, I, don't, I don't even like, why are you using that word, Evelyn? Is it, and, uh, uh, Please tell me this was not you typing this, in, an assistant or something, because I can't even believe that we are out here using this word as a cast member on a major platform. Like, why would you even be arguing with I, it, that? It makes absolutely no sense to me. So we're going to say allegedly because I, I have to choose and be, I can I cannot believe that Evelyn is down into the depths. Getting into it like this with people. Um, and then says, I'll be waiting for you if you want to pull up is what. She says to whomever. 
I don't know um, whoever that was. And then Evelyn then also states, are you commenting from Jen's base basement? And it says bum ASS. All right. Um, then there's more. The person then says, go get your clothes from Alibaba. They are waiting on your phone call. And then Evelyn says, I'd rather buy my clothes from Alibaba than flex from with labels from Blood Money. Goofy. So then another person says, just know that when they print receipts, they always print two. The merchant keeps one and the customer boo, and the merchant keeps all of theirs plastic face. And then Evelyn allegedly responds and says, we're shaking in our boots over here. So I don't know what really to make of all this. All I know is that Evelyn, please tell me this is not you on the gram getting down into the, into the, in, getting into it with friends and family of, of your cast members now. Like, it, it seems so 2016, 15 or something. I don't know. I, I just, it, I don't know. Is it is it just, is it me or I feel like as a cast member on the show, I don't know. I guess everybody got the right to comment. Listen, you got the right to make your com your comebacks. You got the right to defend yourself, whatever the case may be. But to me, I just kind of feel like, why? Why are you doing that? You Evelyn Lozada. No, shouldn't you be selling some stuff? I don't know. That's just me. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Um, again, we got one more. $200 off the Thailand trip, y'all. The Cape Town trip is live as well, all right? That is going to be specifically for people who are interested in the luxury of Cape Town, South Africa, learning about dual citizenship, also learning about investing in property and real estate because we will be touring real estate while we're there. And of course, doing all the fabulous things like wineries, Cape of Good Hope, which is like one of my favorite places, my favorite drives. We're going to be going to Hout Bay. If you know, you know. We're going to be visiting Table Mountain. We are doing a safari. We are going to be at the waterfront. We are going to be doing all the fabulous things. All of the, listen, it's like my second home. So if you want to understand why uh, the importance of investing in Africa, this is for you. And then, um, of course, like I said, we've got joining Rich Life. So the thing, the great thing about it is you could travel to all these great destinations. And with Rich Life, we are helping you learn about how you can travel for pennies on the dollar. OK, I'm talking vacation packages. I'm talking flights. I'm talking all of that. OK, so tap down in there and learn about that. I'll be sending out a little replay for you guys in just a little bit. So stay on the lookout for that. For anybody who taps into Rich Life, text Rich Life to 202-918-3386. We'll actually soon be converting that into more of a newsletter. But for now, kick it. OK, kick, kick it with us. OK, because Rich Life is platinum over here. If you know, you know. All right. So with that being said, y'all, um, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell button, and I will catch you in the next video.